if you've been to the Disney parks in the United States, then you gotta agree with me. Walt Disney World is so much better than Disneyland. I've been blessed to be able to visit all the Disney parks in the United States, as well as the ones in Paris, France, and absolutely love them, but one thing's become clear, Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland in California, and here's eight reasons why. Number one, there's more parks at Walt Disney World. Okay, yes, this is an obvious one, but when you start looking at all the Disney resorts worldwide even, Tokyo has two, Paris has two, China and Hong Kong both have one, Disneyland California has two, California Adventure and Disneyland. Walt Disney World, on the other hand, it has four parks. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. Four parks versus two parks? Well, yeah, that's a pretty clear winner. Number two, other parks and attractions. Walt Disney World isn't just limited to the four theme parks. They've also got two water parks with Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon. They've got two mini golf courses, which are both unique and a ton of fun. You've also got four major golf courses. So between playing at Blizzard Beach in the water and then Typhoon Lagoon in the major wave pool and golfing, goodness, there's a ton of other places that you can go at Disney World. And Disneyland has none of those. Number three, the resort hotels. Pretty much every Disney resort has hotels at it. That's part of what makes it the resort. California has three. Paris has three or four. Tokyo has a, a few. So you've got the resort hotels at all of them. But Walt Disney World takes the number of resort hotels to a whole nother level. There is 18 of them. Depending upon how you count them, there may be a couple more, there may be a couple less, with more coming. And they're all themed, and they're all amazing, and they all put you on property. But along with those hotels comes a number of perks that the other Disney parks don't offer. You get the early admission to the parks. You get to book your fast passes early. You can build things to your room. Yes, you can do that in a limited fashion at the other parks, but not in the same way. Your magic bands that you use in the parks are all tied to your room as well, so it's your door key and so much more. So having a room at Walt Disney World is a much bigger difference than at Disneyland where, honestly, you could stay at a non-Disney hotel and you're not really missing anything. There's nothing extra there to stay off property. In fact, if I go to Disneyland, I don't even think about staying at a Disney hotel because the non-Disney hotels are actually closer to the parks than the Disney one. Well, except the Grand Californian. You gain nothing staying at a Disney hotel in California, while in Florida, it's a huge whole different experience. And then you go resort hopping and you spend the whole day visiting the resorts. We would do that all the time because there's so much to see and do at the resorts. It's just a fun way to spend a day. And you can either park at the resort for free most of the time, or you can head over to Disney Springs, park there, and then take a bus or a boat over to the hotels. Which actually brings me to number four, Disney Springs. Yes, California has downtown Disney, which is a nice little shopping and eating area. Disneyland Paris has the Disney Village, which again is nice. But Disney Springs in Florida is a whole nother level. It is a full day outdoor mall. It's got a ton of shops. It has several unique Disney shops, including the largest Disney store in the world. It's got a number of other Disney stores that are around with different souvenirs, including markdowns and specialized ones such as Marvel and Star Wars, and a number of other shops you would find at an outdoor mall. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. You can go to the movies there. You can go to Splitsville and go bowling. You can catch a show over at the Cirque du Soleil, which has a new one coming up. There's a ton of stuff to do and all sorts of food options. There isn't a Disney place in the world that has something that compares to Disney Springs. What about the parks? Well, yeah, there's still more in the parks, too. Number five, Animal Kingdom's Pandora and the Flight of Passage. Oh my goodness, 
This is one of the most amazing areas you're going to find in any park anywhere. It's beautiful. You feel like you're stepping into another world. It's gorgeous. The theming of this area, honestly, I've only seen two places in parks that compare. One is Wizarding World over at the Universal Parks, which is an amazing Harry Potter area. And then the new Star Wars lands that they've opened in both Florida and California. But Pandora is unique, and it is amazing, and it may have the best ride in all of Walt Disney World, depending upon how you feel about Tower, and I haven't been on Rise of the Resistance yet. So maybe two that compare, but it's an amazing experience. And really, if you think about that, still part of number five, Animal Kingdom as a whole is a completely unique Disney park with unique Disney attractions. There isn't another Disney park in the world like it with the combination of rides, attractions, Disney, and animals. Just remember, it's not a zoo, because it's even more than that. But it's where you're going to find Expedition Everest. It's where you're going to find Tough to Be a Bug. It's where you're going to find the Lion King and the Nemo shows, which don't exist anywhere else. It's where you can get up close and look at the animals with Kilimanjaro Safari, and then the Tree of Life. There's so much at this unique park, and the only way you can visit and experience it is Florida. The next one I actually just mentioned, and that's number six, the Tower of Terror. This is the one ride that will rival Flight of Passage for me for my favorite ride, and for many years it was unquestioned my absolute favorite. Tower is an amazing ride. I was so grateful to see it still exist in Florida. I have enjoyed the Guardians of the Galaxy version in California, but hate that they took away Tower of Terror for it. Tower of Terror is just an amazing, amazing ride. And the only place you can experience this version, the original version, which has the room where your elevator rolls forward and so much more, it's in Florida. And as long as it's there, yeah, Disney World's got a winner over the others. Number seven, the World Showcase. This is one of my favorite places in any Disney park anywhere. I love different cultures. I love different countries. And this is one place that you can go and you can experience 11 different countries over the course of an afternoon. Where else are you going to be able to do that and travel around the world while staying in one spot? They're amazing experiences. They look and feel like the countries they're meant to represent. The people working at them are from those countries. The stores have things, and I love window shopping. It's an awesome place to window shop because there's so much unique in it. But there's also other ways to experience the countries, whether it's with the movies at China and France and Canada, or with the different rides that are in Norway and Mexico and coming up in France. Y'all are going to love the Ratatouille ride. Sampling the local foods at all the different restaurants at them. The drink. Okay, I'm not a drinker, but if you want to drink your way around the world and become a drunken sod, hey, that's up to you. But it's just an amazing place. And then to sit there with the World Showcase Lagoon and watch the closing show. Illuminations for years, and now they've got the new ones. Does it get any better than that? And number eight, it is a true full vacation. Disneyland is wonderful for a few days. You can see all of Disneyland in three or, if you're like me, and stretch it to four days. Once you hit five days, you're just repeating stuff. Really, even with four days, you are. So if you're going to take a week-long vacation, which is a typical vacation to Disneyland, you're going to end up going to non-Disney things. Maybe Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm, The Beach, Legoland, and there's a ton of other stuff around in L.A. You can make a vacation in L.A. and have Disneyland be part of it. But generally, Disneyland is not going to be your whole vacation. It's just not big enough. However, if you go to Disney World, between the four parks and the two water parks and the golf courses and the resort hotels and all of that, oh my goodness, there's more than you can do in a week. Goodness, I lived there for six years and still didn't get to see and do everything in that area because there's so much of it. I knew people that would take vacations to Walt Disney World, never leave Disney property, just stay there and still not be able to do everything that they wanted to because there's so much. There are dinner shows at the hotels, there's restaurants, there's activities, there's entertainment. Then you get in the parks, you've got four parks that it's very, very hard to do that whole park in one day, especially with the crowds the way they are now. Then you hit the water parks and all of that. We would actually see some British families stay there for a month and barely leave Disney property. 
because there's so much. There isn't another place in the world where you can spend a week and feel completely satisfied that you constantly did things and were never bored and never repeated. But you can do that at Walt Disney World and no other place that can say that. Oh, and there is one last reason that Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland. <laughs> they still got the Muppets. Nuff said, discussion done. <laughs> so do you agree with me that Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland? Or do you disagree? You know, there was that other video I just did about why Disneyland is better than Walt Disney World. <laughs> what do you think? Do you agree with my points? Do you disagree with them? I would love to hear it. Please comment in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe too. Don't forget to check the description below too as well as for information about Patreon and supporting me, my fan pages, how to send comments to me, the gear I use, and all of that kind of stuff. It's all down below in the description. Thank you so incredibly much for watching and God bless. Okay, still not good. I've been blessed to be able at... To be able at? Yeah, I've been able at. Well, able, able. <laughs> I've been blessed to be able to visit all the Disney parks in the United States, as well as the ones in... In Frumps. Frumps. Where's Frumps? Number one. Number one, I forgot. Yes, Flor who yes, Florida no. With its ton of, with its ton, yeah. One is Wizarding World over at Universal's Hollywood Stu Universe, no. Ah!